actually really excited for people to see that the clothes you're wearing don't have any effect on um, what happens to you because both outfits that I'm wearing were just casual clothes, um, nothing special, nothing. And even if they were promiscuous, it's still not justification for anything that anyone does to you. So we went to a conference last year and saw an art exhibit of what were you wearing. And so the survivors decided that they wanted to do it at our campus. I reached out. And Dr. Han said, well, you know, we have this other exhibit going on in April. I said, great, that's Sexual Assault Awareness Month. So. I've been very vocal about me being sexually assaulted when I was a kid, and that's kind of the story I've told, but I was also assaulted my freshman year of college. And so this is the first time that that's being made public. Um, it was the shame that I felt with being assaulted twice. I had a lot of um, voices telling me that it was my fault, and. It must have been me because it happened again. And I know a lot of people are in that same boat and so is the, the drive of, no, that's not, it's not you, it's not. What were you wearing um, is a question that is irrelevant to sexual assault. An outfit does not invite rape. Cape needs a, an awakening, a rude awakening too. I think we're really quiet about topics like sexual assault. It's taboo, it's not fun to talk about and I agree, but it's needed, it's necessary. If we ever want to see some kind of change, if we want people to feel comfortable coming forward about what happened to them, we need to talk about it. And I think this exhibit is, is allowing freedom to do that. It's allowing